guys. Did you guys have fun at Samgori Butchers last week? Samgori Butchers is YG Yang Yun Suk's restaurant. So if you haven't watched that episode, be sure to do so. Now today is our season finale of season one, and I am really, really sad. But I am already talking to managers, restaurant managers for season two. So don't worry, we will be back. As for flight 120, one of our viewers, I don't have a name, but I do have an ID. It's I K M E M O I J A Y S O U I. This viewer asked us, can you please visit School Food? It's the place where EXO visited to eat in EXO's Showtime smiley face. As you can guess by this comment, today we are going to feature a restaurant that was on EXO's Showtime. So let's hurry up and go on inside, okay? For those of you who didn't know, EXO Showtime aired from the end of 2013 to early 2014 and it followed the daily lives of the members of the extremely, extremely popular boy group EXO. Now this restaurant, School Food, was featured on both episode 8 and episode 12 twice in the host series. And this is a franchise restaurant, so there's a lot of different locations all over Korea. But the EXO came to the one in Shinsa. This is Karusuki. This is right outside of exit 8 in Shinsa Station. Now on episode 8 of EXO's Showtime, the members came here. This was the exact location where all the members came. They ordered a bunch of food and they were eating it while talking about what they wanted to accomplish for the new year of 2014. At the time they filmed, it was a brand new year for them. Now on episode 12, which was the last episode of EXO's Showtime, they did flashbacks from the whole series. And if you remember, they played a game where they had to guess what D.O. wanted to eat on the school food menu. Now. Oh, and whoever got it right got to eat it, and whoever didn't had to just watch. Now, it's been over a year, so right now, you guys too, guess. Which menu on the school food menu did Dio want to eat in the 12th episode of EXO Showtime? Was it A, Hoba, B, Udo, C, Curry Lamyeon, or D, Pho? We'll find out in just a bit. Okay guys, our food is out! <laughs> the answer was See curry lamyeon. Uh, the manager here gave us two types of curry lamyeon. There's the tonkatsu curry lamyeon and the chicken curry lamyeon. He wants us to try both, so he gave us both. It's so sweet of him, right? <laughs> Dio gets this every time he comes to school food. Mm. I'm gonna mix it a little bit. Mm. Yeah. Let's try it. This is the tonkatsu ramen first. Woo! Oh! Mm. So the answer was curry ramen. And if you guys remember, mm. I will try the chicken too. Dio, Chanyeol, and Ruan came here to pick up food for the members. Only the ones who got it right. Only the ones who got it right got to eat it. And just so you know, for udong, udong soba, and salguksu, those were other options that the um, other members did think that Dio wanted to eat. But the answer was curry lamyeon. This is the chicken. Mmm. It actually tastes kind of the same. <laughs> It is kind of the same, but the meat is different. So if you're like a chicken lover, get this chicken. If you like pork, get the tonkatsu. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Also, this cocktail looking type of thing. This was the cheese stick. If you remember, Luan was like, Lei likes this. So let's order eight. Let's not order four, let's order eight. And then like Chanyeol Chan Chan was saying like four, uh, Luan was saying eight, and then they ordered eight because <coughs> he, he said that Lei liked these. Let's try this. Mm. This is so good. Mm. Oh, that's good. like a mixture of like cheese and kuguma. Really good. Like it's 
essentially the same thing. I'm just eating two portions of it. <laughs> One bite, one bite. Mm. Now I want to move on to my favorite dish at school food. Because I told you I come here a lot. This is carbonara tteokbokki. So you've seen the typical tteokbokki with red pepper paste. This is carbonara sauce, like carbonara pasta. But it has tteokbokki in it and they have mushrooms in here, they have onions in here, and bacon in here. And I already know what this tastes like, but it tastes amazing. <laughs> it's like my favorite. I kind of like it even more than the pasta sometimes, right? And whenever I order this, I always get the spam mari with it too. Spam mari. This is, inside is spam or ham. And there's like a kimbap. It's wrapped around with um, rice. And then there's a layer of egg on top of that. Oh. Mm. 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 oh, and there's cheese in here too. The reason why I get these two together is because I like dipping it in the carbonara sauce. Mm. Dip it a lot of the sauce and then eat it. Good. If you have a little bit of mayonnaise on the side. You know, we also have a selection of aids here. Um, I can't drink this all, but <laughs> it's more for display, but I really like this one. This one's strawberry, this one's lime, this is blue pineapple, and this is orange. All of them taste really good. I've tried the blue pineapple too, it tastes really good. It's like a virgin pina colada. Yeah. This might come as a surprise for some of you, but I actually did EXO's first ever radio interview. I was actually working as a reporter at Arirang Radio a few years back, and it wasn't actually EXO, it was XOK. You know when they split up into XOK and XOM? I interviewed the six members of XOK at the time, and they were I was their first ever radio interview, and I remember them telling me that. So yes, I did get to meet six of the members, and yes, they were all very, very good looking. I don't think I need to state the obvious, but more than just good looking, they also were, had very professional um, attitudes. They were very uh, respectful and caring of the host. And they were also very energetic. And that's why I love EXO so much. Not just because of their looks and their talent, but also because they're really, they have really great personalities. As you can see, I finished my whole meal and I'm really full and I think I have food coma now. Did you guys all have fun today? You know, I come to school food quite often, but this was my first time trying curry ramen. I've tried almost everything on the menu, but I didn't try curry ramen, so Dio really knows his food. It's really, really good. Dio highly recommends it, and I highly recommend it as well. Now, school food also has a really great delivery system, so if you need to deliver food, order from school food. It's really, really good. They're very professional and organized. Guys, it's already time for me to say goodbye. I can't believe we're already on flight 120. It felt like yesterday I was at Miss Lee Cafe doing my first shoot for YouTube. And yes, YouTube is very, very new for me. I'm just really used to the TV industry, so this is very, very new for me. But I really love it. I love YouTube, and I've come to meet a lot of YouTubers here in Seoul as well. So I'm going to be doing a lot of little collaborations during our break, and I'm also prepping for season two, so be ready for that as well. I also just want to thank my Gate82 production team. They have been so helpful throughout this whole process. I also want to thank my parents and friends and our consistent viewers who have been coming back every single week and showing us undying support. Thank you all so, so much. Now, the purpose of this channel is for you to vicariously come to Korea through me without physically being here, without actually being here. So I hope you're learning more about Korea through me with food and K-entertainment. 
All right, guys, if you guys haven't so already, please subscribe to our Gate82 YouTube channel and please give us a thumbs up. And also in the comments below, tell us where you want us to go next on season two. I will see you guys all on flight 201. Stay happy and stay safe, everyone. Goodbye. Episode 8 and episode 12. Now I am, and I decided that it's so much fun. They were all looking at the school food menu and. Ah! And if you haven't so already, please subscribe to our Gate 82. You 82.